Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we are going to talk about how to measure really the electrical units, the electrical quantities we talked last time. The first possible measurement instrument is a moving coil instrument. It is still a base of quite a number of measurement instruments, so I want to, to show it. Huh? It's from the pre-digital area, it were the most expensive measurement devices you could buy, money can buy. Uh, so I want to show you how this is how this is working. The core of a moving coil measurement system is the magnetic force. Yeah? So we have one permanent magnet in there. Yeah? I will draw now some sort of, of U-shaped, horseshoe-shaped magnet. So we have somewhere North Pole, huh? we have somewhere South Pole. Then we have a thing which can rotate. Huh? So we have here something between the poles. There's a bearing. It might move. Yeah? This something is holding also the pointer. Okay, so here's the pointer. Looking somewhat like this. Okay, what is the holding the pointer in 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 position is some spring. Okay? So here we, we have here rotary spring somehow. This applies a torque in this direction. Okay, so we it's holding back the 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 pointer. The pointer here is the scale. Here's the scale somehow. And the pointer is indicating at the scale, here we have zero. Okay. And here we have the maximum measurement range, whatever this is. Okay, how is this working now? Well, we have, we have here wires. We have here a coil, a winding, book, 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 book. a lot of copper coils, a lot of copper windings. A very thin, thin wires, and we have two connectors where we can apply our measurement voltage. All right, here we have this voltage I want to measure. Because of the resistance, here a measurement current is starting to flow. Okay, measurement current. It is passing through this coil. The coil is indicating or is, is producing an electromagnet. I'm sure you know. Huh? And then we want to do produce a torque in this direction, so the coil must be must be somehow the, the winding direction of the coil must be to go that here is then a north pole appearing yeah, because of the measurement current and here's the south pole appearing because of the measurement current since we know that 
uh, north and south are attracted to each other, and north and now, north uh, are, well, not attracted to each other, we will get an, a, a torque in this direction. This north pole wants to this south pole and away from this north pole, so it will turn in this direction. This south pole wants to go here and away from here, so it also helps to... So, we are now moving in this direction. How far we are moving depends on on the strength of this magnetic field here yeah, and the strength of the spring. It's spring-loaded. I've, I've told you this. Yeah? So, uh, depending on the measurement current, we will have here a weaker or stronger field and a weaker or stronger torque. And so, the pointer will start moving yeah, along with the moving of the coil and we will have, we will indicate something, somewhere. So the pointer is moving in this direction. All right. This is how a moving coil measurement device is working. It's called moving coil because the coil is moving. There is no better name for this. That's the working principle. It is measuring direct current, DC. Actually, it's measuring current, but because these are really small and tiny, these are small and long wires. The internal resistance of this coil is rather big. Yeah. It's a big internal resistance. Yeah. And we said what at which measurement device we need a big internal resistance? Well this is a voltmeter. for direct current DC. Okay, this is a voltmeter for DC, nothing else. What if I want to measure AC? Well, then I have to use somewhere in front here a rectifier or well, a rectifier. Uh, some additional things I need to measure here. What if I want to measure current uh, and not? Well, then I need some measurement uh, measurement resistor here, uh, which is producing the measurement voltage. A moving coil measurement system is measuring voltage. That's it. Yeah? And if I want to measure something else, I have to apply before the, the, the measurement device additional items. Rectifier, resistors, something like that. Yeah? And uh, yeah, but the core is always the same. If you look at that, yeah, it looks rather simple. However, because of these small wires and so on, it's rather expensive. Yeah. So what are the upsides? Yeah? The benefits of this thing yeah, is we really, it's really accurate. Yeah? It's accurate, it's linear, yeah, it's working pretty well. Okay. One downside on the other hand is it is expensive. Alright, so we have an expensive measurement device which is however pretty accurate and linear. Yeah? And because this is a long, long coil, it makes it expensive. Okay? And well, there's also, there's also quite com complex. It's quite complex. Yeah? Because of this, you have to deal somehow with the movement and so on, and the springs. Mm. Yeah. 
however, uh, we have a very low power consumption because the measurement voltage, you know, it's a big resistance and low power consumption. This is low power consumption. This is also a benefit. Uh, expensive, quite complex. And well, there is one thing uh, which also has to be handled in front of this. This is uh, that the, the measurement range, uh, the native measurement, native measurement range. Is narrow. It's small, it's narrow. Yeah. So, if you want to measure voltages via as a, of a big range, we have to adapt this a little bit here. Yeah. Also with resistors and so on. So we need additional, additional things. Yeah. This thing is still based of highly accurate measurement system which are not digital multimeters okay they, they, which are not working digital yeah? so these things still accurate linear and so on this is the main benefit moving coil measurement system if we don't need to be that accurate uh, and maybe want to have it a little bit cheaper, uh, we can select another type of measurement, yeah, the moving iron measurement. How this is working yeah, compared to this one, we will discuss in next video. Mm -hmm. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.